Alright guys, so um, we're just going to be performing a uh, search warrant at this house here, so if you can just provide as much assistance to me as possible, just keep me safe while I'm in here, and it shouldn't take too long. We're just going to be looking for some stolen credit cards. Alright, so regular callouts has released an update to where we can conduct search warrants. So today we're going to be with the Mobile County Sheriff Department, and we're going to be taking on some search warrants so um, let's see how this goes about alrighty so we're not too far away from the area where we're going to be conducting the search warrant um, it should be on the left over here so also we're in not in such a good area so we're going to have to make sure we take extra precaution on our surroundings while we're over here all right so it looks like this is going to be our house right here to the right so what i'm going to do is go ahead and um, pull up here and we will first go ahead and start us some additional units so uh, we can have some backup with us <laughs> alrighty so it looks like we got MPD it's gonna assist us Alrighty, so we got MPD with us, and uh, they're going to be assisting us on this search warrant here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and print off the um, search warrant. Let me, uh, I got to be in the car to do that, I guess. Yep. So I'll go ahead and print that on off. Okay, so we're going to be looking for some credit cards. Uh, we're able to search the living room, the bedroom, and the suspect. Alrighty, so I got the search warrant here in my hand. Alright guys, so um, we're just going to be performing a uh, search warrant at this house here. So if you can just provide as much assistance to me as possible. Just keep me safe while I'm in here. And it shouldn't take too long. We're just going to be looking for some stolen credit cards. Alrighty. Alrighty, so we got a little traffic here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and see if the suspect is actually here I right, was gonna press Y to, wing, to ring the doorbell alrighty hello can I help you that's what the suspect says hello sir I have a search warrant for your property a search warrant can I see it first alrighty absolutely sir Alright, so he says, alright, come on in. Alright, so. Hang tight for me, I'll take a look around. Alright, so, um, it says press Y to search the areas. So, let's see here. So, we're going to be looking for some credit cards here. And there's my MPD officers, great. So we're going to just search this area over here. Um, Alright, we found nothing in this room here. I guess I'll look over here by the um, TV and the heater. Okay, I found the credit cards over here. Great. Alright, so um, he is in possession of the credit cards. So we're going to go ahead and um, talk to him. Do you want to tell me what this is? I'm not saying anything without my lawyer. Okay. You will receive mail from us soon. Your lawyer will help you understand the next steps. Have a nice day. Alrighty. So we actually received the property that we was looking for. Uh, I'm going to take that into evidence. Um, before we do that, I would like to have 
I would like to get his ID. Let's see. And also search him as well, because we do need to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ask him for his ID through Stop the Pet. Just so we know who we're talking to here. Alright, so uh, John McTavish. Alrighty, he uh, has a gun permit. And, uh, okay. Let's see. Do a record check. Okay, his license is expired. He's not driving, so that's not really a big deal right now. Let's see. We're going to also uh, pat him down. Alright, so my officer's just going to pat you down. We just want to see what you have on you. Alrighty, so I got my officer here. He's going to just pat him down and. Um, Okay, he has a small revolver, which he does have a permit for that, so that's not a big issue as well. Alright, so he's, I mean, he's going to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and exit his apartment or his house and let him, you know, have the rest of his day to him. Alrighty, so um, that search one went pretty well, I believe. Um, like I say, MPD provided the assistance that I needed. Um, we retrieved the credit cards, so like I say, we'll go from there, from whatever the judge says. Alright, we're going to dismiss our backup. And we're going to head on out. Alright, so dispatch has um, put across our computer screen a um, another call. So it actually is a noise disturbance. So we're going to see if we can head over here and um, take care of that situation. Uh, we don't have too much information other than 9-1 callers calling in and saying they want us to bring down the noise in the area. So um, we're going to see if we can do just that. Alright, I love how everybody just yields for me. Alright, so we're gonna go uh, code 2 here. Alrighty, so we're actually gonna be at the house over here. So I'm gonna stop right here. And uh, we're gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna act like that didn't happen. Alright, I'm gonna park right here and uh, we're gonna just go up there and see. Let's see. It should be over here somewhere. So we have to ring the doorbell. Alright, it says, hey man, how can I help you? Hey man, your neighbors are calling in and complaining about your music being too loud. Can you keep it down? Alrighty, so we asked him to turn off the music. So um, if we get called out here again, 
then um, like I say, we'll proceed on to further actions. So he said that he would uh, turn it down and like I say, um, hopefully when I call back out here again tonight. This is out to a caller that has reported someone missing. So we're going to see if we can head out here and see if we can help locate this subject. Um, I'm not sure if it's a special needs person or if it's a kid or I um, didn't get too much information. so. Just gonna see if we can head out here and help out. Sometimes our job isn't just um, arresting people. Sometimes it's you know serving the public and you know helping. So um, let's see if we can provide some assistance as much as possible. Whoa, buddy! And you know, sometimes that goes a long ways with some people. Um, some people don't like the police. Some people, you know, respect us. But you know, at the end of the day, we're just here to help. So, okay. Now I know they saw my lights. Nobody's wanting to yield. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna see if I can swing around this parking lot here and. Turn around. Okay, we're not in that too good of an area right now, so let's see if we can swing back over here. Alright, so here we are. We're at the house where the uh, reporter called in, so let's see if we can get out and talk to someone over here. So we're going to press Y to ring the doorbell. I'm just going to step back. Okay. Okay, so it brought me in. Okay. Hey man, did you um, call 911? Say so yes, uh, my son is missing my car as well. Okay. Can you tell me when they went missing? I don't know. I just came home when I noticed it. Do you have any more information about the car and your son? Of course, my son is called Jack. There is a photo in the room behind you. Okay, thanks for the info. I will take a look. Alright, so he's telling me that there is a uh, photo of his son inside of this room here. So let's see if we can locate that. Okay. So I'm assuming that's what his son looks like. Great. All righty, we're going to do the best that we can to locate this uh, missing person. All right. So, let's see, how do we exit out of here? Okay, why to exit? All right, so. Hit this U turn and head over here. see if we can find them whoa okay all right 
Alrighty, so looks like I've located the vehicle. Let's see. We're gonna definitely stop traffic right here. And I'm gonna get out and see if this is our subject here. Alright, so I'm not sure if um, if he's hurt anything or if he's deceased. So it looks like he may be passed. So I'm going to go ahead and call for EMS to get out here and to see if they can, you know, take a look at him and maybe see if he Ambulance. can. And we also need to call for some additional units as well. So we got MPD uh, just arrived. They're gonna assist us on this call here. Oh, okay. So he's not dead. So they're gonna actually transport him to the hospital. So uh, I'm not sure what actually happened. Yeah, man. Um, I believe this person went missing. Um, so I located the subject and he was parked right here. So um, like I say, he's not dead. So I guess he was just severely hurt. So um, I guess I get this vehicle towed back. Go ahead and uh, search the vehicle. Okay, there is nothing suspicious, anything like that. So, okay. So, we're good right there. Um, I guess I'll just. I guess I'll call the um, hotel truck. for a minute I thought we was gonna have a homicide but actually um, he ended up being alive so but I do thank you for your assistance sir it's gonna get this vehicle towed and then we'll head on back out uh, we're gonna have to go back to the um, I'm gonna head back and let them know that um, that he's okay. All right, there's a tow truck. All right, so I'm gonna swing around here and turn around and then we're gonna head on back out to the parents and let them know that we found them and they're on the way to the hospital
Alright, so we're not too far away, just around the corner now. Oh wow, we actually got a traffic stop right here. Alrighty, so let's see if we can get back in there and let the parent know what's going on. Hey again, your kid has been in a car accident. He didn't make it. I prefer to be alone right now. Alright, so I guess later on, um, the kid died on the way to the hospital. So, man, that's not good. Alright, so, um, like I say, um, that was some very disturbing news that I had to break to the parent. Uh, 